got my deionized water. <laughs> just finished cleaning and sterilizing my grab bottles which are used to collect water in the field really tedious but cleaning is a big part of the lab I'm gonna clean and sort out the rest of my equipment now and then hopefully I'll be ready by the end of the day to go Woo! so I'm about to clean my storage boxes um, one of the reasons we have these boxes is because they're really good in the field for a kind of sterile workstation um, so we don't have to put anything on the floor uh, they're a bit mucky at the moment, so I need to give them a good clean. So inside here are all my consumables, my filters, my syringes, everything that's kind of disposable slash needs to be sterile for collecting my samples. Tomorrow is the start of the first field trip for my PhD. We are going to the Scottish Highlands. I've never been. Apparently they're absolutely beautiful, so I'm really excited. Although mildly stressed at the same time because I don't want to mess anything up and ruin my samples. But I think that's pretty normal. We're up there for 11 days and we've got 11 sites spanning from the west coast all the way across to the east coast. And what I'm doing is I'm collecting environmental DNA samples from rocky shores. It should be a wonderful experience if everything goes to plan. The last couple of weeks have been a bit crazy, but it's fine. All of the kit is packed, sterilised, ready to go. The hire car has arrived, so I've just now got to pack my stuff. After I finish packing, I'm going to have a nice shower and try and get an early night because we've got a five-hour drive tomorrow and then another five-hour drive on Saturday. <sighs> I'm going to record whole trip so you get to see what marine field work might look like within a PhD and just generally within science. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> it is Friday, the day we leave. I'm feeling pretty tired, I didn't sleep. Amazing? That's fine. I'm still not packed and I'm supposed to go in, I'm supposed to be leaving in 10 minutes so best to get that done. I was not prepared for this heat walking up to the building. I'm sweating profusely. a bit further actually we're in Inverness now we've been in the car for quite a long time all the stuff is packed up in the back just about fit we had to put the seats down we won't be too much longer on the road we have arrived at our destination and the weather is horrendous it is raining heavily windy it's gonna be quite difficult to sample but we're gonna try scientific equipment. I feel a Nobel Prize coming on for this activity. <laughs> As you can see, a very scientific method. I'm using a sealant gun to push the water through um, a specialised filter. The weather's been not ideal, has it Nova? <laughs> Mixed. But it's cleared up a little bit now. Really beautiful scenery. Um, and so we're going to carry on and move to the next site tomorrow. I've made a makeshift lab in the bathroom. We're cleaning in the bath. That's the toilet. <laughs> That's my grab bottles. My chemicals. We make do when we're in the field. Oh, and my lab coat. We're 
here at site two. Surprisingly, they're rock pools. We weren't expecting there to be rock pools, so I've managed to collect some more samples than I planned. I've just collected my last sample. I'm gonna go back to the car and collect them. See you in a bit. Stop at Smooth Caves. It's pretty cold. Site number three. It's not raining. Yes. Well, it's take two on site three. Now, for why is it take two? Because I've got my waterproof with my notebook and my calipers and my bags in it. So we had to do a hour and a half round trip back to the site. Oh, well. <laughs> so this site is all three types of samples. So I should be taking nine water samples plus a control and three rock scraping samples. So it's gonna be a bit of a long one. Uh, especially because we've had an extra hour and a half added onto our time, but it's fine. Let's go do it. This is take four. We've forgot more kits. She's going out of the car. You can tell it's going to be a very good sampling day. I've just clambered my way over. So all the way over there. Rocky shore can be quite dangerous because it's very slippy and there's lots of holes. So if you're on the rocky shore, just be careful. Always go with another person. A few moments later. I've just absolutely stacked it on the rocks. I've hurt my knee. It's going to be a big ass bruise. Another murder scene. Sat number four. We've lost two grab bottles. I haven't got a clue where they've gone. We carry on. Just finished filtering from the fourth site. And here are all the samples. And there you go, they're all in there. I just wanted to label it now. I think I'm being bitten by midges everywhere. It's the end of the day. Filtered all my samples. We're at site technically five, but I'm not sampling at this site. Nova is down on the shore. <laughs> Don't think you can see her. She's there. So I managed to get all four types of samples that I wanted to get. But yeah, we're getting faster and faster each day. We're currently right in the middle of the highlands, roughly. And we're now starting to go towards the east. We've got six days left, uh, four days of sampling and two days of driving around. I was really nervous at the start of this trip because I wanted to make sure that all my samples worked. It's hard when you haven't done a full trip like this before and you're not really sure all the nuances but you just you kind of just figure it out in the field. It just works. You can might be able to hear the oyster catchers screaming at me. <laughs> there must be a nest somewhere nearby. I've done lots of cleaning as well. I cleaned everything this morning. I've got to clean again tonight because we're checking out in the morning. So I won't have time to clean before the next site tomorrow. It's gonna to be a very long day today. Looking forward to some dinner. Well, it's our only day off and we've got a flat tire. Not quite a flat tire, we've got a screw in the tire. So we're having to get it fixed at the garage. 
which I got a ferry to get to catch as well, so hopefully it gets done before then. two sites and then we're done. I did my last clean last night. I don't have to 